And good afternoon. This is a storm watch update. I'm Madison Wade. We have rain, wind, snow impacting Northern California today. We are in the thick of this storm right now. This is what it looks like right now in Roseville along I-80. We have team coverage on the conditions and what you can expect throughout the day. So let's start with meteorologist Carly Gomez tracking these conditions right now. Carly. Yeah, let's take a look. Sacramento up 80. You can see lighter rain and showers, but just toward the west, Fairfield to the Bay Area, some heavier rain and downpours coming in. And if you look toward Modesto, you're right about into it. You're looking at some heavy rain and orange and yellow approaching as that's starting to move along I-5 right now and pushing into Modesto. So more heavy rain on the way as we move in the next hour to two. You can see most of the area from Yuba City down to Modesto going to be inundated in these showers, rain, downpours. And it's really sporadic because you see north of that Yuba City, there is a little bit of an area there where we start seeing a bit of clearing and then things start to happen where everything shifts to the southeast. More of the heavy rain starts approaching areas like Arnold, Sonora with that heavy rain and downpours. And then we get to 930 p.m. We're still seeing some rain, not quite as intense, but snow levels are going to start dropping as we get into early Tuesday morning as we could see snow levels as low potentially as about 1500 feet. And then we'll see some areas right around Sacramento to Fairfield at 5 a.m. where we start getting more clearing. So your morning commute looks a little better tomorrow morning with much less rain, but we are seeing some low Lower snow levels in areas of the foothills from Yuba City, Placerville, all the way down to Arnold Snora, still seeing some uh, heavier rain at the early morning hours into Tuesday. We will get a quick break from Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday before more rain arrives Wednesday afternoon into Thursday. So far, we've seen over an inch of rain in Sacramento, 1.70 in Fairfield, looking about a quarter inch, a little more than that for Stockton, Modesto, about a eight tenths of an inch Auburn and almost an inch there for Marysville. Now winds is going to play a huge part in your afternoon and evening commute. We're looking at 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, and these are sustained right now. Gusts have already reached up to about 51 miles per hour Mather Airport. We are looking at strong winds for the foothills and over the ridges for the Sierra. Please be careful in that evening commute. All right, Carly, thank you. And we also want to check in now in the Sierra. Let's go to ABC 10's Becca Habegger checking up on those snow conditions in the Sierra. Becca, you're along I-80. Tell us where you're at, what you're seeing, where you are. Yeah, Madison, I'm here along I-80. As you said, I'm um, in, uh, this is Yuba Gap, just uh, over the county line. We're in Nevada County. Placer County is uh, just, just a little bit over there. Um, it is very windy here right now. That's the thing. I want you to take a look at these uh, evergreen trees. They are just, uh, just they're so tall. We're kind of on a, you know, like a, a very high area, so they don't have any kind of other cover. They are just taking the full brunt of the wind. And I, I have some, uh, some good news. Um, just minutes ago, Caltrans tweeted that, a downed power line uh, near, um, um, shoot, about five minutes east of here. Sorry, my phone just went black. But thank you. Cisco Grove, five miles east of here, Cisco Grove, downed power lines uh, had held traffic. And so, you know, compounding already very sloppy, dangerous driving conditions. Uh, drivers had to wait until PG&E got those lines cleared. Uh, but just in the last five minutes, those lines are up. Traffic is moving again on eastbound I-80. But the driving, I can tell you, is fairly slow. Uh, my photojournalist Barbara Bingley and I have been driving these roads along I-80. They're sloppy, they're wet, it's dangerous. Uh, we went down to the Shell gas station off Nyack Road in Emigrant Gap where we talked with a lot of drivers putting on chains. They said slow and steady wins this race. In fact, it's not even a race. There are some people who are deciding to uh, pause their travels and stay somewhere overnight uh, who are finding themselves in the middle of this, uh, this mess. So we're going to continue to bring you updates along I-80 uh, throughout the day, but for now uh, I will toss it back to you, Madison. Thank you. All right, Becca. Yeah, absolutely beautiful up there, but like you said, very dangerous. So make sure to stay right here with ABC 10 for updates if you plan on traveling up in the Sierra. We also want to take a look now at power outages in the SMUD uh, district right now, reporting more than 1,800 people without power in the Sacramento area. Right now, the main area of Carmichael is showing over 1,000 without power. So again, you can get the latest weather information sent straight to your phone by downloading Loading our ABC 10 app. We have the interactive radar with traffic updates and it's free on Google Play and the Apple Store.